On a cold, dark November afternoon, the doctor came into the room and asked to speak with me. My wife Dawn was in a coma and had been on Unit 36 at Foothills Medical Center for two weeks. We were told when she was admitted through emergency that Unit 36 was a special unit where very sick people were treated. I had no idea what my family would experience over the next while. During the next hour or so, the doctor reviewed my wife's condition and the fact that she was not going to make it. We talked about palliative treatment and I asked if she should be transferred to a hospice. The doctor suggested that she should remain on Unit 36 and that they would ensure that she was comfortable. I asked if she would also come back and take some time to explain my wife's condition to my daughters after I'd had a chance to talk with them myself. Dr. Hawkins, Laura, Emily and I went into a quiet meeting room and reviewed what had happened over the last couple of weeks and why further treatment was not going to change the outcome. Dr. Hawkins spent the time with my family ensuring that our daughters understood what was happening and answered all of their questions. When we went back to Dawn's room, a nurse came in and very kindly and carefully spoke with my daughters. She said that she wanted to make her comfortable and guaranteed she would be well taken care of. The nurse asked them to go and get a favorite nightgown of my wife's and some of her perfume. When they returned, the nurse asked us to give her some time. When we returned to Dawn's room, she'd been disconnected from all the pumps and monitors. The nurse had bathed her and got her into a nice nightgown, brushed her hair and dabbed on some perfume. She looked more like herself again. The end came within a couple of days. As promised, Dawn did not suffer. After she died, we were told to take as much time as we needed. I left the room to make some calls, and when I returned, the nurses had placed a sign on the door stating that we were grieving and to not enter. I will always be grateful to the staff of Unit 36 for their kindness and compassion.